Hello everyone, Solomon here. It's March 8, 2024. Stay a while and listen. So, I'm on my walk. On my daily walk here. I'm getting my sunlight. I came out of the shitter. I worked like nine hours overnight. And it's 4 p.m. So, all I did was work, take a shower, and sleep, wake up just to eat, do some, you know, upkeep, and the most I did was bike to the park, and voila, there you have a full, a fun filled day. And I consistently train like this as though I'm Michael Phelps trying to win uh, eight gold Olympic gold medals, and that's just what an average ass layperson has to be doing. Um, throughout their basic life and if you're not doing this or something similar to this then uh, you'll always feel like like shit uh, like you're behind like like you're not getting ahead like you're stuck in the matrix and trust me I've been there done that and it's just like you have to pick your poison everything's fucking bad for you I mean, even the soda's bad for you. That's why I have zero percent, zero grams of sugar in this thing. And, uh, seltzer water. Uh. Oh, fuckery. <clears throat> it's hard to film and drink at the same time. Oh, man, I fucked that up. Ah. Uh. Oh, God. So here we are, taking a walk. Um, this is as this is as what it has dwindled down to. Um, I'm having to have to film myself like an OnlyFans girl, so I can potentially have likes and subscribers, so I can monetize my channel or charge everyone five dollars a month for a subscription, so they can see my titties and my ass and my vajayjay. <clears throat> That is the quickest road to success. <laughs> Whoa, God. Anyway, that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon. So, here we are on our walk. And, uh, you know, there's students in my x ray program, in, uh, you know, where I work. And one of the girls, she's very fine. And it's already her last year. After this, after the spring session uh, semester, then she's graduated and has to find a job. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And I'm just like, this is a Caucasian white girl. She's calm. She's nice. And then, and then you have someone like me and like an asshole. And just like, so you have two people. You know, like why the hell isn't the Asian person's life? look a thousand times harder than just being a white girl. A white American girl. <clears throat> it's like, what the f She didn't have to learn Chinese. She didn't have to, you know, learn all this complicated math and stuff. And yet she still hides it. And, you know, does her girl thing. And it's like everyone just looks at her in awe because she's pretty and whatever. And then you have Chinese guys. It's like everything is all, like, fucked up. Everything... Everything's got to be a thousand percent or he gets beat. It's like what life isn't fair life isn't fair And you get to be the girl you get to have establish your own only fans channel and everyone likes and subscribes and pays you money to see your ass It's like life is just not fair shit <clears throat> And I, I've said before uh, many guys may have noticed noticed this that you know, it's just in terms of efficiency, minus the pregnancy and maternity leave thing, girls are very uh, highly effective workers. Minus the pregnancy thing. Um, you know. <clears throat> so, 
So whatever. I mean, it is what it is. And then people complain about, you know, why men make more money than women on average for salary and whatever. Basically, it's because of the maternity leave thing. They don't have to leave all the time to have babies and whatever and call out sick, but, you know. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And a lot of times, I don't want to know. <clears throat> you know, you can either have 10 Mexicans or you can have one hot, blonde, blue-eyed girl. <clears throat> you know, that's your choice. Yeah, you either have, life is not fair, you know, just life is not fair. And it's true, in, in nature, eggs, as in female, are a lot harder to obtain or acquire than sperm. So you have like billions of sperm and one egg, you know, trying to make a baby, an embryo and all that, and a, you know, a newborn, whatever, child, <clears throat> baby. And it's just, you know, always on the girl to have all the resources in the world just because, you know, your responsibility in the world is much, much, uh, I guess, bigger. Uh, just more vital, more essential. <laughs> and so you have 10, ten Mex Mexicans versus one girl who is a hot, basically. Again, life is not fair. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, what would I do? What would I do? any differently than normal people you know nothing makes me special except that um you know i just find uh learning learning and applying myself uh to practical things um like i obtain knowledge and experience like playing a video game that's the only thing i can say that uh is different than me than uh per se, you know, just clumping everyone together and making everyone a cookie cutter or registering everyone as a number. Just, as an individual, I get to learn things. <clears throat> I get to experience things. You know, that's very important to me. Whether anyone else cares or experiences the same thing, I don't know, that's not my business, you know. <clears throat> Any other interesting things I know? I know uh, when the shit hits the ceiling fan, uh, you're gonna wanna go home. In whatever experience, say you bought a new house, you know, you took out this loan, this mortgage or whatever, maybe you have a husband or a wife, whatever, I'm gonna pay for this house, and you have to work for the next 30 years of your life. You know, during that time, you're gonna say things like, I wanna go home at work. You're gonna say, I wanna go home and that's what currently, you know, people say to me at work, you know, I want to go home, you know, the experience of being a nurse or a doctor or, you know, in other fields, an engineer or whatever. People say things. I want to go home. Or if you're a soldier or whatever, I want to go home. That, that, is a, that is experience. That is experience and what people feel on a large basis. I want to go home. You know, I don't want to do, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here, you know. And a lot of people, people put this facade on to go to work so they can pay off their mortgage or kids and whatever the fuck. And, you know, this, it's hard. It's hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. This, you know, this is fucking hard, you know. So, you know, the thought of having a home, having kids, and having this extra burden and responsibility, you know, just so that society can take a piss on me, I, I, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I ha I'm happy with just walking away with a paycheck and serving my time in whatever XYZ industry my job. You know, but some people are wired differently. Maybe they're a first-born child or a second-born child or whatever the fuck. And they have to carry the name and, you know, or maybe they're a Chad or a Tyrone and, you know, they, they gotta be doing this shit. You know, alpha shit. And I don't know, sometimes I just don't fucking know, you know. 
soldiers sacrifice their lives for their country, you know, and when they come back, you know, to the VA, you know, become a veteran and, you know, they, they're treated like shit and you have PTSD and, you know, amputees and veteran affairs and all the money in the world or whatever, it's just like, it's not worth your health, it's, it's not worth your limbs and whatever, it's just like, you just feel salty. You can't win. You can't win. And I, I just don't want to feel shafted. In, in what I do in life, I don't want to feel shafted. You know, I gave my life up, I gave my time up for, you know, this industry or whatever, or the military, and then I come back, you know, with my penis blown off. I mean, it's just not worth it. You know, that, that salty feeling you get, that anxiety, that frustration, that no one can help you, you know, once the damage is done, sucks. You know, that's why many, uh, men just don't seek help because they don't think people can help them. And a large part, a lot of the problems are unable to be solved in this um, like current reality. You don't have machines that can help you re regrow limbs and body parts and and whatever. I'm sure they do in some other parts of the world or galaxy or other dimensions and, in existence, but not in this one. I mean, this is just doo doo Sesame Street. This is Mickey Mouse World with Walmart and Target. You know, if there is such technology, it, they don't reveal it to the normal public. You know. Uh, I'm sure there is. It's just that most of us, they put the, you know, wool over sheep, the sheep's eyes kind of thing. And whatever it is, we're just stuck with Starbucks and Walmart and, you know, if this is doo-doo land, if this is Disney World, you know, Mickey Mouse World to them, and we're just peons, then, you know, I'm, I'm gonna live a peon life. There's just, it's just not worth, you know, going up the chain of command if you're gonna just treat everyone like they're fucking retarded or children. Um, that that kind of world, that more um, advanced civilization, you know, this is just the world of primitive capital accumulation, and we're at the late stage, late stage capitalism. You know, people start acting like extreme cheapskates. They have to get their product, and they're like, yeah, their product from like. You know, the, the, the soil is bad, you know, the animals are being fed shit. You're just trying to replicate uh, results from using shitty, like, material. Sh shitty, um, you know, raw material. You know, whatever it may be. You have polyester and, you know, radion as clothing instead of 100% cotton. And wool, you have people in China dipping meat in like literally house paint full of lead because they don't have fucking food anymore because they fucking, you know, over farmed everything and shit. And they have low quality meat, um, you know, from feeding the animals GMOs and whatever the, the chum they can fucking find. So, this is late stage capitalism. Just, you know, Chipotle is doing the same thing. They had to keep keep getting chicken and and beef and you know and where are they getting all this all this all this food from like processed processed foods like freezing stuff you know using nitrates and MSG product chemical products whatever the fuck I'm not a chemist and I'm not getting into the details of it but a lot of chemicals involved late stage capitalism that's where we're at as well as primitive. Uh, wealth, uh, capital accumulation phase, so it's, it's just a shit show of people running around, hoarding stuff, you know, grabbing whatever the fuck they can, and that's it, you know, that's it. It's not a very advanced civilization to begin with, so, you know, all the things I'm doing is just Mickey Mouse world, no matter how you look at it, you know, everyone's just gonna jump the gun, lawyer, doctor, Lawyer, doc, shut the fuck up. Damn, yo, it's Jesus Christ. Either you're a lawyer or a doctor or shut the fuck up and you're gonna do the do whatever you're gonna be doing in the world. 
Fine, whatever. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to enjoy my day at the park. I'm doing my taxes. I'm still trying to finish up my taxes. You know, I had a lot of like cryptocurrency shit. I had a lot of W2s, I had a lot of eBay, I had a lot of Amazon. You know, it's almost a blessing not having income from YouTube. Now I don't have to do do the fucking YouTube 1099k part. You know, thankfully I did not earn it one dollar. Otherwise, I would do more taxes and add add that to my you know sh sh income stream or my tax deductions or whatever. The f raise my risk of an audit from the IRS. Uh, some people on YouTube, uh, Hamza on YouTube said uh, he spent, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, paying um, YouTube, uh, taxes to YouTube. Uh, taxes to YouTube. Um, YouTube taxes, you know. YouTube. YouTube taxes, hundreds of thousands of dollars and trying to move to Dubai, you know, to avoid paying taxes and all this other bullshit and getting a CPA, having to get a CPA to account for everything. It's just a lot of work, just a lot of behind the scenes bullshit work. So I did my shift at the hospital, didn't have to worry about anything else except my W-2 form in my 1099C and that was it I get to go home and do whatever now all I have time for doing the most productive things was sleeping and eating which is absolutely essential and doing some maintenance work on the computer which is only like 30 minutes and then riding my bike here and walking one lap around the park which isn't even that much And that's my Friday. That's my Friday. I'm probably going to be sleeping earlier because, you know, doing your taxes suck and it's just draining on me and that's that's my priority. I do my taxes as much of it as I can and then I'm going to sleep because I know that uh, it's, it's quite taxing. I can also go out if I really, really, really fucking wanted to, but I'm kind of like, eh, you know, it is a Friday night and... Um, I could be going out. Hmm. I don't know. But I'm doing my taxes and, you know, I'm going to say to myself, uh, you know, nutting, spreading your seed, the return on ROI is, is really not that great. Um, it, what can I say? I don't know. I did a lot of research. You know, people did a lot of research on this. You know, semen retention or whatever. If you're not all over the place, you know, again, you'll just be tired the next day. You know, your dopamine levels will have leveled off. And it's a very hard choice for a young man whether to nut or not nut. And it's just like, hmm. Hmm. Kind of creepy, but, you know, it's it's the bro science, you know. And if you don't nut, you'll have the strength to in the stanima to d be training the next day or doing whatever the fuck or work as opposed to just laying there in bed and having no m less much less motivation and drive to be doing and ambition to be doing anything else except playing video games continuing to mean continuing to play video games and, and watching porn and gravitating towards uh, activities of uh, instant gratification so you are actually practicing delayed gratification in the wrong run, long run, which may qualify as uh, discipline. And that's what you need. Uh, otherwise, you'll be caught with your pants down one day. And, uh, you know, shit is going to hit the ceiling fan. And uh, you're not going to know what to do or how to react. Or if, it, uh, if you do know what to do and how to react, you know, you'll just have a much harder time trying to bounce back up, trying to pick yourself back up, as opposed to the person who's been training and not spreading his seed all over the place. 
or you can. I don't, I don't particularly care if you do or you don't, but you know, in my case, I I would like to have the uh, the stamina and the energy to react to you know hard situations when they do do arrive. Sometimes you have random ass storms, you know. Sometimes you have I don't know in other countries war, you know. Netanyahu, whatever, of Israel, just got caught with his pants down when Hamas fired, blah, 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 you know, missiles, rockets, whatever, into the um, Israeli uh, Nova, supernova parte. That's what happens. That's what happens when you have something. When you have something in the world worthwhile, you know, you have, you attract a lot of asshole assholery you know you have money people are gonna come after you you have hot girls people are gonna come after you you have expensive rare Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards or whatever people are gonna come after you it's just like that's what people do people are savage people are crazy you know like that deer that deer is very smart he knows I'm creeping him uh, her that deer is very smart. She knows that people are creepy. And that the smartest thing to do was just walk away. Oh, look, there's another another deer. Oh wow, there's another deer on the, another deer. And there's another deer. Alright, we're gonna continue this Ric Flair nature walk. And, um, you know, one of the, my co workers at work said um, he just owned a bungalow. So I'm talking about like a two small bedroom home. Not even, a, not even the size of one of these, probably like a half the size of one of these things. And it was a, a, just a small ass cottage looking thing, you know, for two dudes in a basement and um it sold for us it was the asking price from regular people in new jersey was six hundred thousand dollars over half a fucking well over half a fucking million dollars you know it was just fucking crazy it was just fucking fucking crazy i don't know why anyone would want to live in new jersey if they had a choice if they have a choice to live in fucking new jersey and they had over half a million dollars to spend. Why the fuck would they live in New Jersey? I don't, I don't know. Oh look, those are two deers again. Anyways, you know I'm not, not that creepy because the animals just naturally don't care about me. Um, or though they do find interest in looking at me. But that is a good sign if you're actually dangerous, if the animals just run far away from you. Um, so anyways, they can tell I don't give a fuck. Um, because of my vibe, I don't partic I'm not a predator to them. Nor am I an actual predator, because I just generally don't give a fuck. Um, oh, look. Huh, my binocular vision over here. So, that's nature. And, um, oh, look, the pond. So, let's walk to the pond. The pond, you know. It's more of a stream. Um, yeah. Oh. <sighs> I don't know, I'm kind of stuck in twilight here. No matter what I do, it's just another year of making money. Um, whether I want to make it fast, whatever. If I want to make it slow, whatever. You know. Sometimes they're... It's just post-apocalyptic. Sometimes it's just motherfucking post-apocalyptic. You know, you need money, and um, or you're just gonna rent for the rest of your life or whatever for two thousand, three thousand dollars a month. 
uh, for something. For something. Uh, entry level. Bare bones minimum. And that's what it is. And you'll drive your Toyota, your Corolla, or whatever. And you'll live your normal ass uh, life. Oh look, there's a there's an animal right over there, staring right at me. Huh. There's another prime example of Bambi. Again, the animal sense that I don't give a fuck, so. I'm not gonna really be jumping around that much today. <clears throat> Shit. Shit. <clears throat> it's just another fat fucking day for me. There's nothing really to see. Uh, sometimes I go to the zoo and stuff. Uh, but primarily this is just another day of being a fat kid. I could have just played video games. I could have just continued to not give a fuck. But I decided to film today um, and uh, post it on my YouTube just to see and see if I can be more productive. I don't know. I wish I could leave the world behind something that had any impact on the world, but a lot of things that I do is just bitch and complain. Um, you know, when I worked up in Hackensack, one of the nurses, she was very hardworking, but you know, I don't know if her, if her deeds were even noticed. I mean, she was like a four foot five, like black girl, and it's just like, she would just say things like bitch and complain, bitch and complain. And I, I could relate to her and all that stuff, and it's just like, no matter what she did, or did for anything, even during COVID, like, no, there was no amount of, you know, external social validation that can, that can help her, you know, feel grateful. Like, oh, thank you, you're so awesome. Like, she doesn't want you to thank you, you're awesome. She wants, she wants to, a payout, you know, she wants to get paid for what she does. That's that's where she feels appreciated you know for the hard work that she does but no you know what that translated to her was bitching and complaining bitching and complaining oh look at that there's a little dog there people love animals there you go People are playing tennis and pickleball. Hmm. Hello. What's up? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I'm looking. I'm gonna try to look for it. It was in the middle of the street a minute ago. Yeah, look. Uh, okay. Um, give me a sec. Oh, I see it. Give me a sec. Fuck, not to find this guy's fucking tennis ball. <sighs> You're welcome. And fuck this. Um. See how people are always trying to manipulate you? Um. I don't know. This is why I can't reveal myself or help anyone. Because I don't want to. I don't want to, like. Be a good Samaritan and they're gonna get, get ran over by a car or get sued because I save raped somebody. Um, 
again back to the nurse you know you have good people doing good deeds all the time and they're not even getting compensated and then you have criminals who don't do anything good for anyone and it's just like they get they get all the benefits in the world the money the and, and it's just like what what in the actual fuck <clears throat> What in the what in the actual fuck, you know? You might as well just be evil. The forty eight laws of power, the Machiavellian. Um you know, stop being nice. You know, don't help people there's a lot of reasons why you don't want to help people. You might get taken advantage of. You might get hit by a car doing it. You know. You might get sued. What kind of fucked up world is this? Has anyone ever helped me? I mean, I guess I live in an affordable housing unit. Um, so yeah. You know, the government helped me with unemployment and uh, getting a job. The Essex County, um, what do you call it? Um, Rutgers. And uh, community college helped me get a job that pays six figures. You know, so yeah, they, they, they did help me. So, there you go, you know. If everyone was a salty bitch, if, if everyone was a criminal or just wanted money or something, doing sh shitty things for society, we would all be fucked, you know. This would be like Pakistan. This would be like Gaza. You know, just really sh shitty you know just people running around you know for scarcity had a scarcity mindset and just grabbing shit all the time would be like Haiti or something just really sh really fucking shitty it's a really fucking shitty experience <clears throat> Just having a really fucking shit experience. So it's a 32 minute mark. Um, well, let's do a welcome to my consciousness stream. Okay, what we got over here? Today on my mind. Uh, huh. Today on my mind. It's always about making money, um, you know, the ethical way, or as ethical as you possibly can put it. And I like to see the numbers add up, um, you know. But at some point it becomes like, when did you enjoy the fruits of your labor? When... Or maybe that's it. You know, Marcus Aurelius said, you know, there may be no reward. You know, it's about the journey, not the destination. It's, you know, it's not about the destination. Everyone wants to retire, and then like soon afterwards, the lifespan of a retiree actually shortens. Or this and that, but it depends on your situation. I mean, if you're able-bodied, you 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 actually reduce your sh your lifespan uh, because you have less social activity, you have more social isolation. You know, don't expect yourself to be hanging around with other people during daytime, um, doing stuff. You know, because there's probably not a lot of people around who are also retired at their same you know, age range, you know, if you're a young person, you know, all the retirees are mostly old. You know, you have some outliers that are young people, maybe they're like, um, what do you call, uh, trust fund babies or whatever, 
But uh, you know, most most nine, I, I guess like Jesus, ninety nine percent of the world's population is of young people is just going out and and working like a mother uh, motherfucker, like a hard working mother trucker, just just to live in that matrix, just to be blue pilled and make money and and live that kind of life. Or you're just someone who just doesn't really give a fuck and just is like whatever. Which I can understand, um, you know, no matter how hard you work, you would still just be very similar to someone who just didn't fucking work at all. Like, that's what's wrong with communism. Um, it just sucks. It sucks being that guy that works and hauls ass and everyone else is getting paid the same. It's just like, why am I working so hard if everyone's just gonna have, have nothing and, you know, everything is just gonna belong to the government anyways. Again, Marcus Aurelius, the only person had back in the day had the best explanation was Marcus Aurelius. You do things because that thing or whatever you do brings you great joy. And that in itself is the reward, not necessarily the destination. Uh, you know. It's very profound and you know, he will not sink in. And of course, what are you, stupid? Make more money. Be a doctor, be a lawyer. You know. Be a doctor and be a lawyer. I mean, do you really want to be a doctor? Do you really want to be a lawyer in a communist country? Where no matter what you do or how hard you work, you'll make this as much as the same thing as Maria and Rosa who just throws out the garbage has three meals a day and just blatantly is walking around like a fat tubbo you know stinking up the place and not giving a shit um you know these are very realistic situations you know that I'm talking about and that I think about but which which would you choose you know and I'm frequently reminded by the ancient Stoic uh, Epictetus. He was a slave and he was mistreated and his slave owner even broke his leg and, you know, life was shitty for him. Um, you know, people were assholes to him. And, they, you know, he just said, you know, is, is the cup half full or half empty? You cannot control your external world, but how you react to everything, your at your attitude. And I don't know. A lot of times I don't know why people are, are so mean, you know. Why are rich people so fucking mean? Um, why are they so fucking greedy and Jewish and cheap and Chinese and, and so scamming everyone and have to be all Brahmin and Alpha and shit? There's no such thing as sharing or caring. It's just Brahmin versus Brahmin. It's just like kill or be killed. It's just, you know, no compassion whatsoever. None whatsoever. It's always about money. It's about, always about killing the other guy. You know. And so you have things like war. Because um, you can't compromise. People cannot compromise. And, or maintain peace. And this is like Martin Luther King. Multiple assassination attempts, Queen Elizabeth, multiple assassination attempts, JFK, assassinated, this is like, you know, shit. You know, God knows how many times Gandhi's been, you know, people's tried to fucking kill him too. So it's like, what the fuck, you're the least violent person and, and everyone, every asshole's after you. They're after for your money, they're after for you being a nobody, like, you will get killed over nothing. Criminals will just kill you over nothing. People are just fucking crazy. People are just fucking crazy. You know, why help anyone? If there's always a population in the world, maybe, maybe seven, you know, ten, seven or ten percent of the world, one out of ten people are just motherfucking assholes, don't need any logic, reason, or whatever the fuck. Those just fucking kill and stab and cheat everyone, scam everyone. You know why? I mean, shit. Absolute shit, you know. 
Billy Madoff's Ponzi schemes and, and grifting and, and Epstein's and like what what on the actual fuck What on the actual fuck? So there's so much fuckery going on and having a global mindset that I'm just like you know fuck all this I can only control myself I can only help myself in this like world full of fucking assholes and I'm just like you know I, I, I don't give a fuck I'm gonna take my walk in the park spend my time not giving a fuck self reflecting not giving a shit again I told you I saw that nurse Bitching and complaining, bitching and complaining. She's probably doing all of this work. She's probably still working there for the next uh, safely 10, 20 years. So she's just gonna be bitching and complaining. And, um, you know, there are tons of people like her. There's tons of people like me doing the same fucking shit every single day. And that's, that's our job. That's our job. Just like the garbage man. Every single fucking day. And the only thing people want at the end of the day is money. I don't know. Or that's just life. <clears throat> and we all know that the criminal is just going to end up with all the money anyways. Doing what he's going to do. You know, Billy Madoff, uh, the Ponzi scheme thing. You know, the Sam Bank Friedman is, and whoever the fuck is, is just going to, you know, win all the money eventually anyways. Through the scams and schemes and, you know, asshole investment grade, you know... Investments, it's just like shit. Why bother? Why bother? You know, why bother? You know, when 9 11 happened, um, I think it was the principal of the Chinese school who worked at World Trade Center, as well as being the principal. Or the VP of the Chinese school, and, 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 and you know, I said this before, and he just like you know, fucking died. You know, yeah, very high caliber people just fucking dying, and it's just like, damn, the asshole wins again. You know, sometimes the bad people just win and just get away with everything. I I don't know. This is that's just life in New York City. You know. Everyone's been looting the Walgreens and the Targets and the Louis Vuitton stores and the Gucci stores. It's like, why, why even be a hardworking person if you could just be a criminal? Um, and I refer back to Marcus Aurelius. The joy is to do the thing. To own the business, to operate the business, to have a job. That is your reward in itself, not you know, just making money. You know. The thief will come as, you know, criminals are some of the most productive people on the planet. And... Damn. There's nothing you could do about it. They're wired like that. They're, they just exist. Like a number. A percentage in the world. And they come and they go. Just like a bull market and... um in a bear market, they just come and go. Money comes and money goes. Uh, you have people losing hundreds of thousands of dollars, but they're working for lifetimes earning just thirty, forty dollars an hour, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever it is. Um, yeah. So I'm here at the park. You know the benefits of park. Why why hang out at the park and not go to the casino or something? Um, instant gratification. You know, you have things like delayed gratification. You have things like cheap dopamine. You have things like sustainable dopamine. So going to the park, just walking, is a more sustainable dopamine approach to living. Uh, not experiencing these super highs and super low moments. Um, that's exactly what happens when you gamble, you know, super high, enjoy, and then 
you, everything comes crashing down after you lose or whatever. Same thing with video games. Uh, there's this game called Vampire Sa Survivor. Uh, the same people that made casinos and you know the games and stuff, they just transferred their skills and knowledge and experiences to this game, Vampire Savior and bullet hell, other bullet hell genre games. And of course, you know, a lot of them are also um, Chinese uh, game developers because that's what Chinese specialize in gambling and scams and schemes and, you know, Billy Madoff shit. Because that's what they do. Um, you know, and how they get so good at it. And um, since ancient times, uh, you know, you know, why is it, why is there such negativity surrounding China all the time? As I've stated before, the original Chinese people from ancient times, way back in the day, came from the Orion constellation which is where the reptilian race is derived from and you're like what the fuck are you talking about um this may not even be in standard education of course you'd have people freaking out about aliens and shit Asians Chinese are a distant relative of the reptilian race uh negative dark entities demonic even and gambling and you know grifting and scams and deceiving people is under their belt um, at all times that's what they do reptilians you know the guard the, the snake and Adam and Eve you know it just is it just is that's what it is uh, that's my best explanation for it and they've always been like this um, you know not all Asians are bad, not all Chinese are bad, but there are quite a few uh, good ones and bad ones in any uh, given kinds of people. But, you know, that's just one explanation of it. But then you have the Nigerian prince uh, in Africa. So they could a compass all over. Or you have white collar crime. A sandbank freedman. Evil can encompass all everyone. I mean, it's just a fraud. That's what you call it. So, what about for myself? What about my first for myself? How can I upgrade my life? How can I trans surf into a better reality? Is this not the best reality I can possibly achieve for myself? Uh, things are quiet. Um, you know, I'm not running around to make money at this present moment. I don't have all these crazy bills to pay. I don't have to pay child support. I don't have to pay alimony. All these things of not doing stuff actually make, brings me great joy. Brings me a lot of joy not doing stuff. Um, I'm just that lazy. I'm stoic. I don't know what you want to call it. You know, women look at me, they'll probably say, you lazy fuck. No, I just don't want to care. Um, why should I? I, I don't want to get yelled at by you. It's like, what the fuck? What, what benefits do I get out of getting yelled at? I'm too old for this shit, you know? Why you still continue yelling at me at, in your old age? I don't know. How, how the fuck you are doing that? I don't know. How, how, why you, you would even care? I continue to say, I really don't know. I really don't get why your needs for me to be doing things is is up there. Um, you know, don't you have anything else to do? Don't you, do you not do anything but helicopter parent? I, I, I don't understand. Like, surely you must have something to do other than to, you know, tell guys what to do all the time. They call that a boss boss girl. Um, that's a priority to yell at everyone and to tell them to do things. And, you know, to, to you know, to talk shit about their inadequacies. Well, that's what she does. Um, you know.
And you're just like... Why is this human being dedicated to caring about me? I'm just like... I really don't get it. The sense of urgency. The sense of urgency for the guy to be fucking doing everything. Making $200,000 minimum gear. To be six feet tall and just fucking do everything. Like, I don't know. Guys are probably tired of it. And you're working him like a dog. And, you know, either he's like this because he's Chad or Tyrone. Or he's like someone who just doesn't want to fucking care like me. Because there's nothing in it for him. Then, you know, just so be it. This is just because of America and that's just the culture of Boss Girl and Starbucks. But you know, it sucks. Um I don't know. It's nothing to write home about. I mean I, I it's, it's 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 nothing like you would want to come here for. Um just not worth it. Uh, just not worth it. I was born here and I'm too lazy to move or find something else and I'm just sticking with my grind because that's the easiest fucking thing for me to be doing. That is my comfort zone. Just to make money. That's the most sense I can make out of the world uh, for what it is. As with the rest of the 99% of the people you know do nothing do nothing doing nothing has become a luxury you know sooner or later this is gonna be like fucking Hawaii where people have to work a minimum of three jobs just to put a roof over their head and have food enough food to survive another day um you know no one wants high prices but um or inflation but this is this is the reality uh, oh yeah yeah just buy a duplex and rent out your homes and stuff yeah sure yeah buy a a million dollar home that needs a million dollars of work and yeah have you, have you yeah it's so easy yes yeah, just, just go do that or you could just have invest invest your money or in dividend stocks and just you know keep pumping out money or put it in a federal uh, market uh, money fund money market fund and just you know get the five percent interest or whatever APY and just live off of that just not give a fuck about your rentals because people are learning about squatting laws and just like fucking stay there for free and the cops and the courts can't do anything about it um there's your buy a duplex it's just too fucking expensive these things people just blurt out all the time like they're Donald Trump and that they can be easily accomplished when in reality it's just very motherfucking hard and I wouldn't want to be that nurse telling me I want to go home all the time and you can see it in her eyes that she's hurting With that said, you know, have a good day. Have a blessed day. I'm just going to go home, finish my taxes, do whatever, and go to sleep. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace out.